Hi folks, I've been asked to share with you today just a little bit about father and what that means and I was reflecting on this and obviously we accept Jesus into our hearts and once we accept Jesus into our hearts we then become part of God's family. We have a father. So um, we go to church, we worship, we pray. And time and time again, in all of those things, we are told we have a father who loves us, a father who wants to give us gifts, a father who knew us before we were born, a father who knew the plans he had for us. And the list goes on. So if, like me, you were born with an excellent, loving father um, who I've pictured behind me, uh, you would have had a father who encouraged you, who you looked up to as a figure of authority, who disciplined you, who hugged you, who cared. And um, so it's not such a stretch to say that you've got a loving father. And when I think of this, I think about the dad who would stay away and work whilst I was on holiday with my mum so that we could afford to be there. The same dad who put the municipal swings in in the back garden so that we could swing higher than any other child. The dad who held me when I was so upset after breaking one of my mum's cut glass glasses after she died at the age of 37 I sat on his knee and he gave me a hug and he was a loving dad. Now somebody else I know very well has not had a loving dad. He's had a dad that's bullied him, abused him, not nurtured him, not cared for him and just at every step of the way discouraged him. So the concept of a loving father is very difficult for him to grasp. Um, and when you read scriptures, Psalms 139, 13 says, For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my womb's room. Well, when I read that, I think, wow, God created me. How fantastic is that? But when this person I know reads that, he thinks, well, why did he bother creating me? Why did he bother? Because I'm worthless. And that's how he views it. So um, you may have barriers therefore, to um, approach the Lord and get all of those gifts and blessings. Now, if that's resonated with you, I read a book very recently, and I was very blessed, despite my loving father, um, uh, by this book. It's called Father Heart of God, and it's by Floyd McClung. And in this book, Floyd describes the journey between how your earthly dad treats you and how you then view your heavenly father and if you are one of the people in the second category is not being treated treated very well i would absolutely recommend you go and read this book as you can see it's not very thick it's a very easy read and it will really take you on a journey of healing and loving the father above um so if we don't address the barriers we've got to approaching God, we can't then move into the full blessings and the gifts that God wants to give us, both in this life and in eternity. So if you need to heal from the wounds of childhood, to move into the love of your loving father, um, you just need to grasp this book and just know that you have a loving father. You have a father who loves you so much that he sent his one and only son to die on the cross. What a father that was. And in doing that, not only are we forgiven for any sins we commit, we're also allowed to go through the veil. Jesus tore that veil in two so we can approach the father heart of God. Be blessed.